How's everybody doing today? Today we're going to have our pro series on title. We have Ashley Gravano here at Paradigm Title Group. Um, we're going to just jump right into it. So Ashley, can you tell us a little bit about how title plays a part in the closing process when someone's looking to buy? Sure, absolutely. So title really comes into play right after contracts are signed. Okay. Typically you want to get title ordered right away. All right. Because certain areas in New York, it can be 14 days or so. Okay. To get title completed to make sure there are any liens on the property, any issues or judgments. Uh, the attorney will typically do that. Okay. But as a buyer, you have the option to shop title. Okay. Because uh, there's a lot of us in the industry, so. So what is the benefit from one title person to another? Uh, it's service. Okay. Right? So fees are state regulated, so typically the fees are pretty much the same. Right. Um, it's a relationship and service based industry. Okay. So paradigm, obviously. Right. Uh, our service is top notch, so typically you go by the service. Got it. Provide. So what goes into the actual process? And I know there's a lot of details and we're gonna talk more about these. We're actually gonna have future three to five minute episodes where we get into more of the granular details, but we're giving you just an umbrella overview today. So so what goes into, I you know, I, I call you Ashley, I say, hey listen, you know, I just, I sold this um, and you know, my buyer's looking, needs to do title on, the, on this purchase, he's, yeah, property right. he's purchasing. So title is insurance, basically, right? Okay. So insurance protects the buyer okay. from any liens, unrecorded mortgages, things like that against the property. So think of it as car insurance. You hope right. that nothing happens, but right. in the event something Absolutely does right. happen, right. then you have insurance so that title company insures the property to make sure that they help you with legal fees and, and research and doing things if something needs to go wrong after settlement. So, so let me understand. So let's say the title company misses something. This insurance actually protects you from their mistake. Exactly. Okay. Um, so we're on the hook if we do something wrong. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody's exactly. gotta be on the hook. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and um, what are some things that can go wrong? What, what are some, and don't tell me worst case scenario, but what are generally, I mean, you've been doing this for a while, what are things that you see that come up? What we see come up is unpaid mortgages from okay. previous owners. Um, sometimes the previous title company won't make the payoff. The company doesn't close out the previous loan. Um, so then we come in, collect all the documents, get everything situated, and then clear the title. Okay. And what's what's like a, give us a, t a title horror story quickly. Title horror story would be um, at settlement, the company kind of runs away with all the payoff dollars and the borrower has nothing. So that that's probably my, my biggest horror story happened on Christmas Eve two years ago. Um, the company literally like shut fun. down. Um, so you have to make sure a company you're working with also is reputable and is it works with the big players in the insurance industry. So well, great. we do. We work with like three of the majors. That's so. that's wonderful. Well, listen, thank you for coming. Yeah, no problem. Um, Thanks. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, please post in the comments below. As always, find uh, follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube. We're also going to share Ashley's um, information in the links below. Have a great day, everybody.